Hi everyone, good evening. This is Dina Karan and it's been a while we've connected with our channel. So now let's uh, start a few things with uh, UiPath. So our main motto of the channel is uh, learn and uh, let others also learn. So whatever you gain from your uh, experience and exposure out in the industry, just share with the people so that who are starting fresh with the market, they can learn something and grow along with us, right? So uh, today we are going to see some basic functionality with UiPath. Of course, there are a lot of information available uh, in the market with a lot of RPA veterans. So I want so I also want to be part of uh, the UiPath learning community so that I can share my um, findings or my uh, exposure experience with the people in the market. Right. So today we are going to see uh, how do we find the length of a string using UiPath, right? So that's what we are going to uh, have a look at it. Of course, it's going to be very simple, but still I just want to start as a fresh even I'm also a beginner in UiPath, right? Let's grow as a community in the RP industry. So I have a lot of videos which has been uploaded against uh, Blue Prism. The YouTube channel is again RPA space, so you can check out the videos and let me know if you have any questions, you can comment out over there, guys, right? So here in UI path, right? So I'm going to start it as a fresh, which is a beginner level in RPA. So if, if anybody, if, uh, if someone who's wondering how to find the length of a string, right? So we have a functionality to find uh, the whole uh, length of a string, right? So what for that, what we have to do is like, we have to create two variable. One is of type uh, integer where you are going to store the length of the string. And the other one is like a kind of an input string. So we have to use the basic, uh, uh, syntax um, in UiPath to find the length of the string. So without getting a delay, we'll jump back to UiPath and see how this can be done manually, uh, like with a simple exercise. So for that, right, you just uh, drag a uh, assign activity, as I said, right. So you have to you know, create two variable. One is of uh, to get a count of a string. The other one is like kind of an input string. So you can create a variable either you can click on variable panel and go here and create a variable or if you can just directly give control K in assign activity to create it. Of course, if someone is well versed with UI, but they'll be like master in it by the time. But if someone is new, I'm just iterating for them, right? So just create an input text. This is going to be the text what you're going to calculate the length, right? And output, I said like, uh, the type of uh, your variable should be int because it's going to store um, the length of the string. So when you give input, and again, I'm repeating, it's, it's basically for freshers who's beginning or who's just stepping uh, into your path, right? So just type a variable what you want to have. And uh, just if you use control space, you will have a lot of options which is coming out here. You can check out each and every uh, options which is uh, convenient for you here in this case we are going to find the length so just pressing at length so once you if, if your uh, uh, expression is not having any error then it's obviously going to show it, it doesn't show any error but if you have some sort of uh, issues with your expressions you will have a uh, like mark or warning over there so that like you can be able to go ahead and uh, recover it based on the error which is coming out Right, so I want to write it. Uh, I want to write it in the out, uh, like output panel. So I just want to give it as like uh, what is the output? Uh, my output is count. So I had to give it. But you can see here, this is what I'm speaking about. So if you have any error, you will have some sort of a compiler error information which is coming up. You can have a look and clear it. Here it says like uh, right line will allow only string. So for that, uh, your input is just, sorry, your output is of type int. So I've just converted it to string right so now our action is almost done so if you execute this flow you'll be able to see right what output or what is the length of the string right so you can see right so the object set a reference issue so the object reference not set to an instance which is nothing but if you have empty value which is coming in for example i'm trying to find the length of the string but i haven't given any length so which means it doesn't initialize at all Right in this case, you have to give uh, value into the variable, 
right? So even in your projects, when you are executing it, if you're getting object instance issue, so you just go ahead and check the variable or check the collection, whatever it is, if it is empty and if it is not passing out any value, so you might probably ended up in having this issue, right? So just if you want to step it and you can do whichever the three debugging methods which you want to do it, I'll do it like I'll go step by step and I can see, right? So we have 74 as total length. So this is the text which I passed in. You can pass out whatever text you want to pass it to find the length of the characteristics, right? So this is a small exercise to find the length of the string. And uh, to find the length, you have to use this sort of expression. So happy learning will be connecting back often with some small sort of exercise uh, similar to this. Uh, please check out the channel and uh, keep subscribing. Thanks for watching it. Have a nice day.